A couple of years ago, I downloaded an app that has changed my life. <laughs> And no, this video is not sponsored by them, but if they would like to sponsor me in the future, I would be very open to that. The Goodreads app. If you don't have it in your life, you need it in your life, especially if you are someone who likes to read. So I made a, couple, a conscious decision a couple of years ago that life's too short to read crappy books. There are so many phenomenal books out there. Any topic you could think of, there are leaders and experts who have downloaded all of their knowledge and skills from their brain onto paper that you can then upload into your brain. It's like having a conversation with the world's best and even to be able to go back in history and have conversations with people from the past through books. So I'm gonna be talking today about five books that have changed my life. I hope you enjoy this video, let's get into it. If we haven't met before, I'm Dr. Sarah Nichols. I'm a medical doctor and a YouTuber, and I make videos that show you you can live a life filled with purpose, joy, and meaning. So. Book number one is actually not a book, it's an audible download. And I think that every person should listen to this audible download, it's phenomenal. The Ultimate Jim Rohn Collection. Jim Rohn was a business philosopher, he called himself. He was someone who had, who gave amazing business and motivational speeches and this compilation is the best of all of his motivational talks. It's incredible. He talks about every facet of life, from finances, relationships, building your own business, talking about failure and building yourself up from that, career, productivity, time management. It really does have it all. I finished the audiobook and I went back and immediately rewound and started listening again. It is that good. It's basically a blueprint for how to live your life. If you don't already have Audible, I would recommend signing up. You can actually get one free book from the link down in the description box below. So if you want to sign up and get a free book, you can download this one. I would highly, highly recommend it. I've been talking about it and chewing everyone's ear off about how great this download is. It's one not to miss. And also I haven't heard anyone else talking about it. I don't really understand how. It's it's so good that I feel like all of the productivity and self-development YouTubers are going to be talking about it soon, but they just haven't found it yet. Book number two is one that I've actually done a full video review on and I will link that up above. It's Atomic Habits. If you haven't read this book already, I would highly recommend it as well. Well, in fact, all of the books in this video I would highly, highly recommend. This book talks about the idea that our daily habits have a cumulative effect, whether that's our bad habits that build up over a period of time that seem insignificant on a day-by-day -day basis, but eventually have a large impact on our lives in a negative sense, or the daily good habits that eventually bring us good health, wealth and happiness. Atomic Habits reminds us that persistence and commitment will always pay off in the end. And the thing that I really like about this book is that it doesn't just talk about ideas and wishy-washy things, it actually tells you how to build good habits into your life. It gives you actionable steps by making your habits easy and attractive. Um, yeah, if you haven't read this one, I would highly recommend it. I'm gonna actually go back and reread it. It's got so many actionable nuggets in that I think are very, very valuable. Okay, this third book, I feel like it's a controversial one and <laughs> I have to put a lot of caveats in before even talking about it. It's Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Now, this book, I think if you're gonna read it, you have to accept that it is a bit of a relic from the past. It was written in the early 90s and I think you have to take it, take it with a little pinch of salt. This book is not going to apply to everyone. It's outdated in that it only seems to apply to cisgender, heterosexual couples and doesn't really take into account nuances of real life in some senses. However, there are a lot of really good takeaways from this book. The three main things that I found really valuable from Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus are to accept our differences in our relationships and accept that most of the time when your partner does something that you are not happy with, that you think is offensive, 
it's actually not really about you, it's normally about them. The second takeaway was to realize that your partner can't be everything for you. They can't be your best friend, your lover, your counselor. There's a lot of pressure to put on one individual and one relationship. And often that is why relationships break down because we have ignored the need for all of those other relationships in our lives and that we need to work on ourselves as well as working on relationships with other people. And thirdly, it stresses the importance of love and kindness and being generous with your partner. So if you are gonna read this book, I would say that yes, it's got some valuable points, but I would take it with a pinch of salt. And I think if I was rereading it again now, I would probably be quite offended by some of the sexist language used in it. Book number four is The Courage to Be Disliked. This is a book that is really helpful if you feel you need a boost in your confidence. I am someone who can be quite introverted, I'm quite a sensitive person, and sometimes I find that I take things to heart and I can worry about what other people think of me or the things that I've said or done. The premise of this book is Adlerian psychology, and it talks about how we actually make life more complicated than it really needs to be. The main themes that I took away from it are that we are all equals and that we all have things to contribute to the world through our work and to become self-reliant. Uh, there's a concept that they talk about in the book, which is separation of tasks. Realizing that what we can control is the only thing that we should be thinking and worrying about and everything else is someone else's task to be thinking and worrying about. And when we only focus on our tasks, then our lives become simpler and more happy. Book number five is not a book that you can buy and read. It's a book that you should write yourself. It's a joy journal or a happy book. This is something that I've been doing for, I don't know, probably a decade or more. My mum bought us all these books for Christmas one year and said that they were our happy books and that we should write down our best moment from each day. Times that we're really laughing out loud, things that have really made us feel good, nice things that we've noticed. And it only takes sort of 30 seconds each day to write it down. I've had periods in my life where I've spent time doing that and I find that I'm noticing, when I do, when I spend time doing it every day, I notice the good things about each day more. I'm actually looking for those things and really absorbing the moment more so that I can remember how it feels and write it down later. The times in my life where I've told myself I'm too busy or things have just got too stressful or chaotic and I haven't made time to write things down in my joy journal, I start to feel a bit flat and resentful and stressed and all the negative things come out. When I spend more time writing in there, I always feel better. I know that some people have a gratitude practice where they write down things that they're grateful for. I think this is quite similar, but I think there's something a bit more deep in writing down, not just the things that you're grateful for, but also the, the, the moments that bring you joy and laughter and happiness and that sense of warmth and good feelings. And it has an added benefit that you can enjoy it twice. <laughs> you get to look back over those memories and times where I've been feeling down or particularly flat or upset, I leaf through my happy book, my joy journal, and I remember how many great moments there have been in each day. As you know, I recently lost my dog, and it's been a real joy to look back through all the happy memories that I've written down about her, and I feel like they have not just been immortalized in photograph and video form, but I've actually written them down on the days where I have felt so happy to be around her. Um, and those moments that I've spent with her. Okay guys, that wraps up today's video. Don't forget you can download your free audiobook down in the description box below, and I've linked all of the books down in the description box below as well. So I hope you enjoy reading them, and do let me know if you've read any of them, or if you are planning to, because honestly, they are the five books that I would recommend to everyone. I always talk about these books. So enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.